Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, we'd like to share how to obtain the principal disjunctive normal form and the principal conjunctive normal form without constructing the true table. Always bear in mind that to obtain the normal form, we should not have any arrows, either implies or if and only if. Recall that P implies Q is equivalent to the negation of P disjunction Q. Let's replace the arrows so we should have the negation of the negation of P replace the arrow using disjunction and followed by the negation of Q and copy the rest so we should have this junction P another arrow so let's replace which means that we should take the negation of this front part and replace the arrow using this junction then followed by the rest so we should have the negation of Q this junction R now let's simplify so we should have the negation of R this junction negation of negation is simply something like negative negative Negative, we obtain positive and we have this junction negation of Q and we should have this junction P recall that if we have P union Q and the whole thing union P we should obtain P union Q which means that we can ignore this term and copy the rest of the terms so we have this junction negation of Q this junction R let's expand by using the De Morgan's law so we should have negation of R. Negation of disjunction is simply conjunction. Negation P, conjunction, negative, negative, positive. And we have disjunctive. Again, apply the Morgan law. So we have negation Q, conjunction, negation R. However, since we are looking for principal disjunctive normal form and principal conjunctive normal form, which means that when we see the word principal, we have to ensure that all terms with exactly the same length of variables since we have three variables namely p q and r which means that we should have three variables for each term unfortunately for the second term since we have only q and r that is missing p so we have to add a true value to do so copy the operator conjunction for conjunction Junction always pair with true value. For disjunction, always pair with false. Now let's interpret the true value. Since P is missing, so we should take P union of the negation of E in order to obtain the true value. Let's expand using distributive law. So we should take one P here and the operator disjunction put it here. And so for the other term, for better reference let's rearrange the variable according to alphabetical order so we should have not p conjunction q conjunction not r disjunction p conjunction not q conjunction not r and followed by disjunction negation of p conjunction negation of q conjunction negation of r and this is known as the principal disjunctive normal form of A. To obtain the principal conjunctive normal form of A, very simple. The first thing that we have to do here is find out all the terms that are not listed here. To determine how many terms should we write, always use the formula 2 to the power of n, where n is the number of variables. For this case, we have three variables, p, q, and r. So we should have 2 to the power of Three, that is 8 and the principal disjunctive normal form of A has taken 3 terms which means that 8 minus 3 we obtain 5 terms so which means that we should determine the 5 terms that are totally different from these 3 terms so we should have P and Q and R first term the second term P and Q and not R make sure that can't be found from these 3 terms P and not Q 
W and R and we have not P and Q and R and the last term that we have here is not P and not Q and R. Then use disjunctive to combine all these terms and this is the principal disjunctive normal form of not A. Bear in mind that if we take the negation of the principal disjunctive normal form of not A, we should obtain the principal conjunctive normal form of A. This is because when we take the negation of disjunctive, we obtain conjunctive. Negation of not A is simply A. So which means that to obtain the principal conjunctive normal form of A, is simply take the negation of this logical statement. So we should have not P, negation of conjunction is disjunction, not Q, disjunction, not R. Disjunction becomes conjunction. And so for the rest of the terms, and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.